Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at ICT IGCSE theory, revision preparation, chapter 11, file management. Under that, we'll look at managing files effectively and reducing file storage for storage or for transmission. Okay, let's get started. Before we get started, we must know what a record, file, and a folder is. Basically, a record is information about one person and file is information about more than one person and a folder is basically a group of files now we have two type of file types we have generic file type and specific file type let's look at both of them starting with generic file type this is the compatible file format which means that it can be opened with any software basically a file that can be opened on any operating system such as a standardized application such as .pdf, .rtf, .csv, etc. Specific file format is a file format that needs a specific format to be operated such as .txt, .ppt, etc. That is the basic difference between the both of them. Now, these are, as I have mentioned, very important. We must know extension names their full form and special especially what they're used for so css stands for cascading style sheet and they're used in style sheets and web pages csv is comma separated value um stores tabular data or stores data that is stored in tables such as excel then we have gif which stands for graphics interchange format which is used in moving images or animations we have htm hypertext markup language we also have html and the t over there stands for transfer and it is for displaying web pages okay then we have jpg joint expert a uh, joint photographic experts group sometimes you also have jpeg which is over here if you remove the experts then you get jpg it's used for images PDF is portable document format, documents to be circulated over the internet or through email. PNG stands for portable network graphic compressed images. We usually use PNGs for background images in web pages or our lock screen on our laptops. RTF stands for rich text format, word process document. It stores text without specific formats. Oh, I'm sorry dot text dot txt it's a text file and it stores simple text file the the one that doesn't have any format like it's very simple is the txt not the rtf sorry zip doesn't have a full form zip is basically zip it's used for sending multiple files as one compressed file over the internet now that is that then we have hierarchical structure it's basically a file system that organizes files in a top to bottom structure in a top to bottom structure where files are saved in directories directories that have parent directories until the top of the structure is reached this is what i mean let's say you use windows right you create a folder called my documents now that my documents is the parent directory then under my documents you have another folder called schoolwork and personal now these schoolwork and personal are called subdirectories. Now, when you open this, if maths uh, and science, these are subjects, so we can consider them to be uh, folders. Sorry, so let's cancel. These, if these are folders, then they will also be subdirectories, okay? And so will business studies, ICT, and job applications be. And under math, when you open the folder, if you see algebra questions, now this file algebra question will be considered to be a FILD file. All right. Then we have storing and locating files. A few tips include give every file a name that immediately tells you what is in it. Like let's say ICT um, ICT practical. So when I look at the file, I know that all the files in it must be related to practicals or they must have source files or question papers for ICT practical papers. Then make folders to hold files of similar types. Maybe you can create a folder called PDF under which you'll have every single PDF on your desktop so that whenever you want to open a PDF, you can easily locate it and keep your hierarchical structure. This one. 
okay never mind as we talk keep it then what is the goal of file management this is really important why 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 are we learning this chapter we are learning this to ensure that you can quickly and easily locate what you're looking for right then we have the next subtopic reducing file storage there are two ways or two main types of compression we have lossy and lossless now before we continue raw files are basically images of files that haven't been compressed and contain all its color data the first type of um, uh, reducing file storage or compression is lossy uh, compression in which there's permanent deletion or some of the uh, permanent deleting sorry 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 permanently deleting some of the data in the file it is irreversibly changed during lossy compression program first analyzes the given image and finds areas where they are only slight different which are not noticeable it then gives the same values and rewrites the file with fewer bits this applies to sound files as well as you can see in an example here the file size of the first uh, first flower image is 9 mb um let me write that down 9 mb the second one is 2 mb and the first one is 1 mb when you look at it from a distance you can't really tell the difference right a lossy compression has been used to reduce their file types this is 9 mb 2 mb and 1 mb when you look closely you see very little this uh, very little differences or, or they are very less noticeable that's why lossy compression and over here once it's been compressed it cannot be um, built back to 1 mb like from 9 mb once it's broken down to 1 mb it cannot go back to 9 mb it will stay in 1 mb but that is not the case for lossless compression let's look at what lossless compression is. this one reduces the files with no loss of information now that's the difference what's the difference between lossy and lossless lossy permanent deletion of information but lossless as the name suggests loss less no loss of information nothing is lost it works by finding repeated data this is called redundant data it then only saves the data once and keeps an index of where it should be included zip and rar compression they both use lossless compression and i think that should be all for the video if the video helped, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and why not send it to your friends as well. Till then, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.